Today, we are not doing the usual top 10 best web hosting companies where we awkwardly list all these hosting companies like they're our sponsor. Today, we're gonna let AI make some decisions. That's right, I gave AI full access to real web hosting data, including speed, uptime, pricing, and support quality. What's crazy is the AI even predicted some of these web hosting companies to go out of business based off their current trajectory. Here, let me show you one. Oh, wait, never mind. too late. The AI did predict some scary things, but uh, we'll jump into that later. Now, if you're new to websites or web hosting, or you're just kind of slow, let me just give you the basics of web hosting. Web hosting is where your website, apps, or project lives. Every image, every blog post, e-commerce product, or every web page is stored on a server. When someone visits your website, that server delivers the contents to their computer. Make sense? Got it? Okay. Now, good web hosting means your website loads fast, stays online, and handles traffic without crashing. Now, what is bad web hosting? It's when your website is slow, clunky, goes down often, or makes the visitors leave. In 2025, web hosting speed is critical. I'm sure you all noticed that people's attention spans are getting smaller, so if your website takes longer than two seconds to load, you could lose up to 30% of your audience. Now, who did the AI test? Well, almost everybody. The AI analyzed 25 of the biggest web hosting companies in 2025, including both budget-friendly hosting and powerhouse dedicated hosting. Here's who the AI monitored. Hostinger, Cloudways, Kinsta, WP Engine, WPX Hosting, Green Geeks, A2 Hosting, Bluehost, Crap Gator. So, okay, you get the point, right? It's a lot of companies. Oh yeah, one more thing, don't forget, there are links in the description. Now, some of these web hosting companies are giants and some are underdogs. Now, the AI tested these with a variety of factors to include, such as the page speed, the uptime, time to first byte, and also the price. These are probably the most important things to look for when you're shopping for web hosting. First, let's talk about price. Price is how much you pay for the service. I mean, duh, right? Next is time to first bytes. This is typically the time it takes for a server to respond after someone clicks on your website. The lower the time to first bytes, the better. Next is load speed or page speed or whatever you want to call it. This is essentially how fast your website fully loads. Typically, this number should always be under two seconds. And lastly, uptime. Uptime is how long the website stays online at all times. The 99% uptime is recommended and that's generally the industry standard for web hosting companies. Anything less than that typically sucks. So let's trash talk a little bit. Let's talk about the bottom five companies that made the list, and then we'll talk about the top five, and then we'll talk about what the AI predicted, which companies will go out of business in the near future. So here we go. Here is the bottom five web hosting companies based off the AI. Now, real quick, these are blank page load tests. That means there was nothing on the website when they performed these tests. Once you start adding in content and plugins to these websites, you could expect the websites to get a lot slower. <laughs> Bottom five, here we go. First up, we got Ionis. Is that how you say Ionis, Ionis, whatever? Ionis results are adequate at best. Load times on a bare bone website is about one second, assuming you have nothing on it, which isn't good. Ionis is like that dollar store Bluetooth speaker. You know, it's cheap, it kind of works, but don't turn it up because it might break. The only cool thing about this company is that it costs $1 per month. However, with a really sluggish backend and slow response time, it's just a very adequate company at best. But their uptime is pretty good. I mean, it's good if you're running a blog for your cat or if you're launching your next business. Nah, never mind. Next. Next, we have Namecheap. But oh boy, that 900 MS load speed means your website will load slower than usual. If you plan to use WordPress with this host, it's going to be slow and clunky, especially if you start throwing in a few plugins. I mean, the thing is, it's a cheap web hosting company. If you got like a one page website, maybe if you're not going to be using it too much, it might be suitable. But if you want to take your website serious, I would choose someone else. Next up, we have GoDaddy. GoDaddy seriously spends more money on Super Bowl commercials than they do on their own servers. The time to first byte is over 700 MS and load times are dangerously close to one second. I've always noticed that once these companies get too big, they always tend to focus on customer acquisition and less on the quality of their service. So me personally, I would just avoid them. Next up, Bluehost. Bluehost is like that ex-girlfriend that constantly says they've changed, but it keeps ghosting your website traffic. But the time to first byte and load speed is just still too high. It's actually funny, I asked the AI what they thought of the Bluehost results and all they said was they're unimpressed. Lastly, we have HostGator. HostGator's time to first byte is nearly 800 MS and their load speed is one second, which means your website will be on average at least two seconds slow. Honestly, the load time is just too slow for me. Now, back in the day, everybody and their mama used to use HostGator. I personally used it as well, and it was a solid web hosting company. But over the last 10 years, I don't know what happened. The load pages got really slow and the services just declined. Now, the great thing about HostGator is they offer phone support, which is really cool. And the other thing that's great about them is the, um, yeah, I think that's it. 
Now, I want to step in here real quick, and I want to critique the AI. So I don't think these speeds are actually that bad, okay? So if you see something from like 300 MS to 500 MS, it's not that big of a difference. You're never going to see the load speed with the human eye, right? So from a consumer standpoint, it's not that big of a deal. However, from a benchmark perspective, I can see why the AI is saying this because it's comparing it to the general industry. So I don't want to bash them too hard, you know, except for HostGator. I hate you guys. But uh, yeah, with proper optimization, you guys can have a fast website with these companies maybe. So now that we rated the bottom five companies, now let's talk about the top five companies that the AI thinks are the fastest. Coming in at number five, WPX Hosting. This is a favorite among WordPress users. With a time to first byte of just 365 milliseconds and a load speed of 41 MS and a 99.99% .99 uptime, this host is built for performance. It's not the cheapest on the block, but it includes a built-in CDN, expert support, and even free migrations. If you're running a serious blogger business, WPX has your back. I've always thought WPX was a solid web host. If you look at my past videos, WPX has always performed well, so they have a great track record. And the owner donates to homeless doggies, so kudos to them. Number four, Cloudways. At number four, we have Cloudways, the king of customizable cloud hosting. This platform runs with giant web hosts like DigitalOcean and Amazon AWS. You get great cloud performance, a time to first byte of 300 MS, and load speeds of around 128 MS, and 99.99% .99 uptime. Developers love it, agencies swear by it, and AI says it's one of the most scalable hosting options in 2025. Now, Cloudways is basically a middleman hosting for very large corporate web hosting companies like Linode, DigitalOcean, Vulture, and also Amazon AWS, which actually hosts Netflix. Now, if you're gonna go with Cloudways, I definitely recommend the Vulture High Frequency Plan. I think that is the best, fastest plan that they offer. But if you're beginning with WordPress, I do not recommend Cloudways. You're not gonna understand it. So only use this service if you're a developer, agency, or if you have been using WordPress for a very long time. Number three, Rocket.net. Sliding in at third place is Rocket.net, the silent killer of the web hosting world. With a global time to first byte of 335 and a load speed of 110 MS and a 99% uptime, Rocket.net delivers fast WordPress performance straight out of the box. Now, this is one of the newer web hosting companies to make this list. They've only been in business for like, like three years or something, but for the results it provides, it's pretty legit. I would only go with this web host if you're running a large scalable website or you're running a website with high traffic. Number two, WP Engine. WP Engine has always been fast. It has a load speed of 19 milliseconds in our tests. That's faster than you can blink. Combine that with a time to first byte of 345 MS and 100% uptime, WP Engine is a great pick. Now, I mentioned this earlier about Cloudways, but WP Engine also does not sell domains. WP Engine, not for beginners, okay? So they're another dedicated host. So if you are new to WordPress, don't go with WP Engine. There's better hosts out there. But if you have been in WordPress for a while, they are a great web host. So only use this service if you are experienced with web hosting. And number one, Hostinger. Now, before you premium host fanboys get upset with me and think I'm biased, let me explain. Hosting your time to first byte was under 300 MS. Their load speeds are around 136 MS. They had a 99.99% .99 uptime and their starting price is under $3 a month. That's dirt cheap. Now it's not just about being cheap, right? There's many things that make Hostinger stand out. Hostinger is invested heavily into Lightspeed tech, AI powered website builders, and global infrastructure. With the recent introduction of Hostinger Horizons, they are making way for the AI revolution. It's simple, modern, and fast, and this is what the future of web hosting needs. Out of all the hosting companies I've mentioned, Hostinger offers so many services, which makes it a very versatile host. Now, Hostinger has always been a legit web host. I use them in all my tutorials and people seem to love them. If you guys want access to a coupon code, <coughs> I have a coupon code in the description, Daryl10, <laughs> make sure to use it at checkout, cool. However, there is a caveat. If you are running a large scale website, like a large traffic website, I would definitely not use Hostinger. I'd recommend something like WPX or Cloudways Vulture or even like rocket.net. They're just more better builds for higher traffic websites. But if you are like starting out or you just have like a, a basic website, you can't go wrong with Hostinger. Oh yeah, don't forget, we have links in the description. Did, did I forget? Now, if you're still watching this and you're bored, let's take a look at the web hosting companies that the AI predicted might go out of business. First up, GoDaddy. GoDaddy has over 7.5 billion in liabilities. GoDaddy's debt to equity ratio is nearly 20 to one. So what does that mean? Imagine you own a lemonade stand and you borrow $2,000, but you only invest $100 of your own cash. If anything goes wrong, you owe a ton. And that's exactly the kind of pressure GoDaddy's business is under. Number two is Bluehost and HostGator. In 2023, Newfold, which owns Bluehost and HostGator, issued $515 million in bonds at a sky-high interest rate of 11.75%. 
Now these bonds were actually rated CCC+. What does CCC plus mean? This is actually a junk credit rating. It means the company is financially shaky. Without a tech and reputable overhaul, these brands could quietly fade away. Remember iPage, Fat Cow, and Jess Host? Yep, same thing. Those companies are long gone. Number three is Ionis. In 2024, Ionis showed signs of stagnation, flat growth, and a weak market share. The AI predicts without serious changes, Ionis becomes risk of becoming irrelevant, especially outside of Europe. And number four, DreamHost. And it's easy to see why. Their performance is laggy. They still don't have any Lightspeed servers. They also have no Cloudflare or enterprise hosting. The AI predicts unless they get aggressive with updates, DreamHost may drift in the backgrounds. Now, according to the AI, these companies are not guaranteed to disappear, but they're unlikely to thrive in the AI-dominated web ecosystem of the future. Well, there you go, folks. There is the best web hosting companies based off the AI. Make sure to check out all of our web hosting companies and our coupons in the video description. Go ahead, click on all the things, knock yourself out. See you later.